The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. FMS in 21st Century now presents the adaptation to the old-time radio show, Annie. Who's that little chatterbox, the one with the pretty auburn locks? Whom do you see? It's little orphan Annie. She and Sandy make a pair, never seem to have a care. Cute little she, this little orphan Annie. Bright eyes, cheeks, a rosy glow, there's a store of healthiness and Mind signs always on the go, if you want to know, our says Sandy. Matarazzo Real Estate brings you Little Orphan Ernie, starring Isabella Bacavarel as Potato Face, Michaela Colburn as Squinty, Annabella Levadoti as Mrs. Silo, Moni as Mr. Silo, Ariana Battistone as Jimmy, Shalise Rochella as Girl 1 and Girl 2, Tyler Robinson as Joe, and Miss Sarah Shawnee as Annie, and I, your announcer, Dylan Quadros. Here it is, the 45 on Orphan Annie's birthday. And so far, Annie hasn't the slightest suspicion of the big surprise party we're going to have for her tonight. Hey, Squinty, look at my new scarf. I saw it in school today. It looks like a, check like a checkerboard. I declare to goodness, not so much noise, not so much noise. Huh, if Annie's anywhere within a mile of the house, she can hear the lot of you, most likely. When's she coming, Mrs. Sallow? Yes, Mrs. Sallow, when will she be here? Are all the children here? Yes, ma'am, everyone from school. The only one that wouldn't come was Mike Gould. He didn't come, eh? Uh, he's just a sore head. Joe Cordcast and I had to give him a good look in today so he wouldn't give the secret away to Annie. I declare to goodness. Served him right. When's Annie coming, Mrs. Silo? Well, Joe promised to have her by the 20, 20 minutes to four. Ooh, it's almost 20 minutes to four now. Yes, indeed. I know it is. Hey, Jimmy, take a look out that window. See if you can see Joe and Annie coming. Okay. Now you children can all hide in the parlor. And when you hear Annie and Joe inside, you can come running out and holler surprise. All right, Mrs. Silo. Hey, get ready, everybody. Here they come. Sure enough, get undercover there, everybody. I declare to goodness. Hide all, hide all of you, hide. Hurry up, hurry up. Yes, indeedy, get hidden, you children. Ha, the tablecloth, pull it straight. All the presents are hidden there. She. She'll see them when she comes in. Sure, sure, Ma, sure. Quick, quick, we don't want her to suspect of anything. Oh my goodness, whose hat is that over there on the windows, windowsill? Throw that in the bedroom, Pa. Annie's got, got sharp eyes. She notices if there is anything wrong. Oh, I'll get it, Ma. There, now, I, I think everything's all right. Just in time, too, Ma. There are the young ones coming now. Sure enough. Oh gosh, Annie. I'm sorry I couldn't find it. Oh. Oh, I'll bet there never was a beaver there. Honest, there was, Annie. Paul and Peter told me. They said they saw him starting to build his house. We just didn't look in the right place, that's all. What's the matter there, young ones? Oh, I was going to show Annie a place where a beaver is building his house. And when we went over there, we couldn't find it. Miss Silo? Uh, uh, what's the matter, Annie? 
Leafman lizards, what's the matter with you? Me? Why, there's nothing wrong with me. What's that? Surprise, surprise, surprise Annie, surprise. surprise. Leafin' lizards, golly, jumping grasshoppers. Happy birthday. Now, children, all together. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Annie. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Annie. Leaping lizards. I, I I don't know what to say. Hey, how about pounding on her back? A tag for every year? All right. No, no. You can't all be proud pound on me. You'll break my back. Nothing doing. Reach under the table there. Cut and get, get out the presents. Yeah. Yeah. Jumping grasshoppers, are there presents too? Of course they are. This is a regular party. Great. For Annie. Hooray. That's right, Pa. Put them right up, the, up here on the table. Stuffer and mackerels. Are those all for me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I never had a birthday party like this in all my life. Well, for mercy's sake, Annie, start opening. Start opening them up and see what's inside of them. <laughs> I'm anxious to see what, what they are myself. Uh, look at this one here with the foreign looking paper around it. Are those, and those funny postage stamps. Oh, I know what those are. I save stamps. Those are Chinese stamps. Mm. Now, who could this be from? Oh, God. Look, it's from Mott. There's his name up there in the corner. Who's he, Machi? Who's he? Oh, he's a real nice China man that Joe and I met over in China. Oh. Now, how do you suppose he found out when my birthday was? Well, what is it, Annie? Goodness, it's a beautiful silk kimono. That's beautiful, Annie. Yes, isn't it grand? Gee, that was nice of Mott G. Hey, Joe, help me open some of these. It'll take me all day to open all of them. Sure, Annie. Look here. Here's one for Mr. Mott. Well, open it up and see what that is. Oh, gosh, Annie. Here's one I bet you'll want to open yourself. What is it? Here, it's just a little package. Who's it from, Annie? Yeah, who's it from, Annie? It's from Daddy Warbucks. <gasps> Ooh. I declare it's a goodness. Let me see them, uh, Annie. Oh gosh, those are from Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia, where's that? That's a country in the middle of Europe. Open it up and see what it is, Annie. See what Mr. Wilbuck sent you. I am, Miss Silo. Oh, here's a box. Oh, it must be inside there. No, there's no more paper in here. No, there's more paper in here. Oh, golly. There's a litter box inside all that paper. I can feel it. Well, get it open, Annie. See what it is. Here it is, Miss Silo. I declare, a little box like that? Why, it looks to me like jewelry. See what's inside, Annie. Leaping lizards! Look, it's a ring! A ring. Gee! Well, for mercy's sake, isn't that a beauty? Come here and look at it, Pa. Take it out and put it on. It's got a beautiful big stone in it, too. Gee, that's a grand ring. How does it look? Just look at the way that sh stone shines and sparkles. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, I wish I had one just like it. Here, look. 
Here, look, look, Annie. Why, there's printing on the ring right next to the stone here. Hmm, I thought so. See what it says here? It's got October on one side of it, and the word hope on the other side. Hope's the birthday sentiment for October. Let me see, Pa. And that rose-colored stone in there must be your birthstone, Annie. Sure, that's what it is. It's a rose zircon, and it's a bird, and it's a beauty, too. That's the birthstone of October. I remember all of them. Leaping lizards. That makes it my own personal birthday ring. Daddy's a peach to send me such a swell present. He certainly is, and now let's see what else you got. Hey, wasn't that a sure grand surprise for Annie? And did you ever hear of a, such a keen birthday present as a beautiful ring she got from Daddy Warbucks? The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.